Hey everyone, today we are going to do a firmware update. We're going to do a firmware update on this synthesizer here. Uh, hello. Uh, this is called the Nifty Keys and this is the close-up of it here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go across to the Mac and we're going to go to the Create Audio website and we're going to go to the Nifty Keys page there and then we are going to scroll down somewhere here, yep, down the bottom and you can see Firmware Update and you click on that and it's already downloaded. You go into your system and you extract the files and then you end up with a folder that looks like this. And what you get is a couple of folders. You get the, probably it probably looks kind of like this, right? So what you want to do is you want to go into the updater software folder here. And depending on your operating system, you want to choose Windows or Mac. I'm going to do Mac. And then we are going to go into the updater itself. And this will bring up this little dialog here. Now, on your nifty keys, just make sure that you've got this plugged in to your Mac via USB and the power is turned on. You can see the function light flashing there. And then what you want to do is you want to click load and you're going to look for the firmware software under the firmware file subfolder. Expand that out and click on the latest one that you got. And then within a few seconds, it's going to show you that you currently have what firmware is on the installed version and the new version. So if that isn't, if that's a number bigger than that, which it is in my case, you are good to click update. So we're going to update and we're going to have a look to see what happens when we click update. Bang. And the nifty keys and basically just did a quick flash. Nothing really spectacular happened over here. This just flashed and that turned itself back on again. It was pretty quick. So that's it. That's up to date. And we have finished our firmware update. So now you can see the installed version is the same as the new version. So that one is good to go. So that's it. A pretty simple firmware update for you guys to do. I thought it was painless. Uh, you can go into the software folder and actually have a look at the changelog and we'll do that. Uh, the changelog is under the firmware file folder here and we'll quickly look at the changelog and you can see here the changes that they've made in the latest firmware. Looks like they've fixed uh, a problem with the round robin mode. Um, but because I had an old firmware, I'm going to get all these new features here, uh, which is awesome. So quite happy with that and uh, definitely worth doing if you haven't done one before. Hats off to Create Audio who have done a very, very seamless firmware update. I do firmware updates, as you guys know, on my channel all the time. And this would have to be probably the simplest one I have ever done. And uh, I think it's awesome that they've made it so easy for you guys to do. So check out the firmware update on the Create Audio. Links are in the description of this video. Or go over, head over to ranzi.com and you'll find an article on this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, all that sort of stuff. See you on the live show, Synth Geekery, every Saturday. Mm -hmm.